welcome subscribers new subscribers especially casual viewers welcome to my channel this is speedster johnny i'm getting ready for a ride and i'm going to be testing the first and maybe the last time i'll be testing the new uh, battery powered electric gloves to see how well they work on a really cold day i don't know quite what to expect i know that uh, i was caught by the fact that they're probably half the price of uh, a pair that run off the uh, battery uh, in, in the spider. So I figured nothing gained, nothing lost, we'll see. Maybe they'll do the job, maybe they won't. That's what this test is all about. Getting ready to mount up here. I'm wearing a pair of jeans and I'm wearing a pair of chaps over the jeans to break the wind. I have on a turtleneck cotton sweater to keep the cold air off my neck. My Joe Rocket jacket and uh, it's got the quilted lining and the uh, vapor barrier. And of course the helmet. We'll see how warm I stay. This morning's temperature is 27 degrees, which is pretty darn cold for any kind of a motorcycle or trike ride. I don't know if I'm a little foolhardy even to think I'm going to stay warm, but uh, I won't be riding very far, and I will know when this ride is over if these gloves are, gloves are really up to the job. I checked the batteries, and uh, it looked to me like on one side the, the battery power indicator was pretty bright, and on the other side it's pretty dim. I wish I had started with freshly charged batteries. That maybe would have been a better test, but it looked like there was enough power on the one side that I'd at least be able to tell. And with the two being different, I'll be able to know if the heat that's being generated is uh, really worthwhile at all. We'll see. Okay, let's get this thing in gear and rolling out of the garage. Woohoo! Kind of a tight fit. I think I need to move that lawn tractor over just a little bit. But anyway, come on, a little more forward so it can roll out off the edge. Yeah, come on, do it, do it, do it. There we go. Now set the brake, open up the little pouch, and uh, use the electric garage door opener and bring that door down. Then I can uh, close this bag up and get the other glove on. It is a bit of a task getting them on especially trying to get it over the sleeve. As you see, I'm kind of wrestling with it here. Uh, but there it goes, not too bad. Give it a few taps to make sure the fingers are all the way in. And as I found out on previous rides, these gloves give good control of the hand controls, clutch, throttle, and so forth. No problem there. So we're off to see what it's going to be like. Quick check left and right, and we're on the roll. The engine is a bit slower to warm up under these conditions, but uh, that shouldn't be any surprise. I'm still on Teleco Parkway, also known as Route 444. So far the gloves seem to be doing a decent job of keeping my hands warm, which is the general idea. It's a sunny day, which we have uh, had relatively few of for the last few weeks blistering cold, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. 
I think this is probably the coldest weather I've ever taken a ride in on a bike or a trike. Usually I have better sense, but I figured this would be a great test for finding out what these gloves can really do. I also made a slight adjustment to the uh, video brightness. One of my viewers told me that uh, the uh, images looked like they were a little bit over overexposed and uh, that, that may be true. And if this doesn't work out too well, there's also a setting on the camera, which is probably the next thing I'm going to try to drop it back. It's an interesting scale. Zero is the uh, default value. Minus one and minus two are for progressively brighter situations and plus one and plus two are for progressively darker situations. At least that's the way I understand it. We'll see. What do you do over that little bridge? Passing by Clear Creek. Great place to launch a boat. I guess it's open to the public. Sweet Bride and I used to launch our kayaks there back when we were into that. It's only 15 minutes or less away from the house, and that made it really convenient for doing that. I imagine that the people that are passing by wonder if I've got a screw loose or something being out riding on such a cold day. No comment here. I'm just out enjoying being in the wind. The icy, frigid wind, of course. Fortunately, there isn't any wind other than the wind of me passing through the air. Because I think it was really breezy, it probably would be a whole lot worse. One thing I think I can be pretty sure of is, is I'm not going to r run into any other people riding motorcycles today. I think they're probably going to wait till it warms up a bit. And the interesting thing is, as cold as it is today, tomorrow is going to be even colder. I think uh, the morning temperatures were going to be about 21 degrees tomorrow. That's tomorrow, March 6th. Now we're coming up to the intersection of 444 and uh, Tennessee Highway 72. And on this road, we'll be able to get up a little bit more speed, so we'll really be able to tell what these gloves are doing. My hands are beginning to feel a little bit cold. I notice no difference on one side versus the other, in spite of what the battery indicators say. Uh, I do think I probably would not want to ride anything even approaching an hour uh, in this temperature, gloves or no gloves. The rest of me is stay, staying reasonably warm, but uh, I have a feeling within the next uh, five, ten minutes or so that's going to change too. It's a really frigid blast. But I guess if you're going to do a test, you might as well do a good one. How cold is it when you think you're ready to pass on taking a ride? I used to think anything even approaching freezing was too cold. Below freezing, I never even would have thought of trying this before. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta find out what these machines are capable of and how to dress for worst possible weather. Just imagine if it was raining today. Well, of course it wouldn't be raining, it would be snowing. And snow is something we have had almost none of all year so far this year. And I think when it starts to warm up later in the week, probably that will be the end of any probability of getting any, which is good. A year without snow is fine with me. Snow is fine if you have something you can do to enjoy it whether it's skiing or 
snowmobiling or uh, ice racing. Uh, my wife and I used to do cross-country skiing, and that is the one thing I really do miss about the North. She was the one that got me into it, and I had a lot of fun doing it, both in New York State and in Illinois. One of the things that went in our garage sale was our cross-country skis. I felt kind of sad seeing them go. But they had been sitting there, used very little, and, well, it's just one, one less thing to pack up and move. So, what do you think the verdict is going to be? The farther I go, the more chilly I get, and the colder my hands are feeling. How would I rate the gloves? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too severe by thinking that these gloves or any other gloves would be up to this temperature. But uh, I'd have to say right now I'm feeling C to C minus. And I don't know that if the batteries were fully charged, if it would have made any difference at all. I didn't really sense a whole lot of heat uh, in the gloves. But uh, maybe by the time I got them on and got rolling, the, uh, the air I was running into was uh, having more of an effect than the uh, heat that they may have been generating. I'll have to do one more test. I probably won't have another 27 degree day, but uh, at least I should have a chance to ride maybe some morning when it's in the 30s and just see how it goes. Well, like I said, probably a C to a C minus. I think that's probably all I can say about it, and I'm going to uh, finish off with uh, a little bit of music and sign off. So, Speedster Johnny out.